Tapet noise in Royal Enfield is a real pain in the ass. That metal rattling noise coming out of the engine, it doesn't always sound good. For any genuine user of Royal Enfield, this problem demands much wider concentration and attention as it could be damaging the engine and sometimes it may end up in fatal failure of the engine components. The term tappet noise is popularly referred to the rattling noise which comes out of the engine along with its thumping rhythm. It could be because of various reasons in the engine but most commonly this could arise associated with either the oil flow or the valve train. So in order to find the root cause, each component must be checked thoroughly. See, as we can see here, the oil flow is lesser than the normal near the push rods, which is the topmost position in the oil flow circuit. Since the oil flow got reduced, we have to check for the reasons of the reduction in oil flow, plus we need to check for any damage in the associated component. Now let's remove the rock arms one by one. Okay, now the inlet rocker arm. And then comes the push rods. See, on a closer inspection, we can see that there are pitting in the push rods where the rocker arm touches the push rods. Since the damage is evident, we have to replace the push rods as well. So, anyway, we have to replace them. So, let's keep them apart. The valve head needs to be checked and overrolled. So, let's remove it as well.
uh, we have to check the oil pump now for that let's separate the oil pump see as we can see the o-rings shows the depreciation this uh, this oil pump surely has served its purpose so anyway this needs to be replaced and here we have a replacement now for that uh, this is a brand new push rod kit and this is how the new ones will look like see no pitting or any other damages the head block had been overhauled and it's back for the fittings so let's put it back carefully before that we need to ensure that the head gasket is in place Now it's time for reassembling everything and let's reassemble the rocker arms now. Now we have assembled all the associated components back together and let's check running the engine. That's it for the video folks, that's how I have repaired this classic 350 which came to me with the rattling uh, engine. So I hope you all enjoyed the video and I hope the video was informative for you guys. So if it was useful for you guys, please like the video or uh, dislike the video. If you have any suggestions, feedbacks, queries, please uh, let me know through the comments or you can uh, drop a message in the social media. We are active in uh, Facebook and Instagram and if you're watching the video for the first time if you're watching the channel for the first time and would love to see the further contents uh, please uh, make sure you subscribe the channel as a matter of support and thank you so much for watching the video see you in another video